This segment is sponsored by iCairo Clinics. Some people would rather suffer in pain. They're afraid of traditional manual chiropractic adjustments, but many people are unaware of the computerized adjustment. Dr. Michael Quest is here from iCairo Clinics to tell us how they work. Hi, Dr. Quest, it's good to see you. Hi, good to see you. Thanks. You know, those manual adjustments, uh, I've never had one. I've, of course, seen them done by you. They can be a little intimidating sometimes. Um, what is it that people, are they really afraid of them? Yeah, so I mean, just in my experience, I found probably one of the biggest reasons people don't go to the chiropractor is they are afraid of that twisting, turning, the cracking, popping. And, you know, rightfully so, if you don't fully understand how all that works, it could be a, a very scary thing. Um, and a lot of people are just really not interested in learning how all of that works. They're yeah. still just scared of it. And yeah. so that's where, you know, the options that are out there that people just aren't aware of um, can be a great, a great opportunity for people to still get the same type of help, uh, just in a different way. Yeah, and enter the computerized adjustment and you have walked me through that. I've been to your office to see you, you know, demonstrate how that works. But describe it to folks. What does the computer do? Yeah, so it's pretty exciting just with technology, you know, and anything out there, technology is just advancing all the time. Just like we're sitting here on Zoom and, you know, 20 years ago, we wouldn't have been doing that because it didn't even exist. One so, year ago, uh, Dr. Quas. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, technology has just really changed. And so what the computer does is a few things. One, it actually scans the person's neck and their back and any joints that you want to scan. And it determines the motion of that joint. And it tells the doctor using the tool, um, it tells you where the stiff or non-moving parts are, whether it's a vertebrae or your shoulder or your knee or your hip. And then you can use the instrument to then stimulate the muscle, make it reflexly relax and let go. And then you can rescan it and the computer will show you if you've got improvement in the movement of that vertebrae or that joint, which is a phenomenal thing. Cause in the past, you know, if you had 10 chiropractors, we'd all feel your back, you get 10 different answers. Now, because it was just people feeling right. Now we have the technology that can actually measure that and so you have 10 guys do it and you're getting the same, the same answer. So it's a really great tool to help us, you know, do a better job. But for patients, it's very, very easy to tolerate. It's not uncomfortable. And we have so many people that come in that are like, I would never go to a chiropractor until I saw the machine. And I imagine though, <clears throat> that hands-on is also helpful for you to put your, your hands on the patient. You really do a combination of that when you work with the computer, right? Sure, well, the, you know, we always do our testing with which is hands-on, how far can you bend and move or you write all that down. And then we have a lot of patients that we do, like you said, some type of hybrid, like maybe we use the computer uh, to do the adjustment on their neck, but maybe we do the old school manual on other parts. And so there's a lot of, a lot of options. And what I find is just patients don't know about it. And even in our medical fields, um, I have taken, just in Grand Rapids, I have taken our computerized adjustment machine to over 100 medical clinics in town. Hmm. Not, not one doctor even knew it existed. Oh my so God. So it's, it's like people need to be aware and they're like, oh, well, I'm gonna ask my doctor. I'm like, your doctor's not gonna know. I've already been there. Like <laughs> people, People don't know, and, and even in healthcare, they don't know. So we're trying to get the word out about these options so that people don't just get hooked on medications or get sucked into the opioid problem and just have a, you know, immobile, more likely to have a bad quality of life, you know, when you can't move and do stuff when this technology is available and really people just need to learn about it so they can see uh, because, it can make a huge difference in somebody's quality of life. If you can get them mobile and active, oh, then sure. they can do stuff. Yeah. And doing stuff is the ultimate outcome. Okay, folks, for more information or to book an appointment, visit iChiroclinics.com. You can find a link on our website, 13onyourside.com. Dr. Quast, always good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.